Hey guys, I just come today. My name's Shad. Uh, hello, chicken family. So I wanted to talk today a little bit about um, Chicken Steady, the channel that I created to learn tips and tricks about beginning flocks. Um, I these videos uh, right now, my chicks are about six, seven weeks old, um, and we're gonna go backwards. So the next videos are gonna be unboxing and stuff like that. Um, but this is the first time of me owning chickens other than when I was a kid and uh, I was just told to go out and feed them collect the eggs uh, Reluctantly, I probably did so uh, maybe sometimes I didn't but um, and so This is a, an experience or a learning Channel so to speak. So I'm going to share my experiences with you Tips and tricks that I learn. I spend a lot of time reading other blogs watching other videos seeing people like Justin Rhodes, John Siskovich, um, Joel Salatin, uh, the Backyard Chicken people, that forum, um, I think that's the name of it, Backyard Chickens or something like that. It's a really good forum. People are really informative there. Um, so what happened is um, I decided to get some chickens. Um, hook, hook it at my leg. Um, my wife and I, and I, I build a static coop because I didn't do a whole lot of research before I did and so right now I have in this right here I have 18 18 little chicks about uh, between five and six weeks old I initially ordered I only wanted four or five you know just enough for eggs for my family I thought it'd be pretty neat and interesting um, and then so I started doing some research on the best laying hens. So I got a couple Rhode Island Reds. I got some Golden Buffs or Golden Comments, Cinnamon Queens, whatever you want to call them. They go by several different names. I got some Bard Rocks, uh, some Dominiques, some New Hampshire Reds. Um, like I said, I wanted to start out with four or five. Uh, but seeing all these different breeds, I got more and more interested. Uh, and then Meyer Hatchery. Uh, they offer free shipping if you buy 15 chickens. So guess what I did? Yes, I bought 15. Um, and then they send you a free one, which they say is a meal maker. Uh, you donate the meat or the eggs, which we do a food giveaway every Monday, so that's not a big problem with me. And so I ordered four Bard Rock, four Dominiques, uh, four Golden Buffs, two New Hampshire Reds, Two Rhode Island Reds, and then two of them died um, within the first couple days. Uh, I didn't know everything about raising chickens, so it was probably more my fault. Um, anyway, I contacted Meyer Hatchery, um, and they were more than gracious and said they could send me, uh, replace them, or refund me. But if I wanted a um, a replacement um, they can't ship less than three chicks together and so I decided to order a Dominique rooster so that gave me 18 chickens and so now I have 18 chickens um, I ordered well I knew somebody that had ducks she was trying to get rid of them. she had ducklings she wanted to get rid of a few ducklings or sell a couple ducklings so I got two ducks uh, my daughter calls them Flipper and Flapper. I'm not sure what I'm going to call them. I'll probably be walking around here behind me in just a second. There they are. There's one. Um, and then the other one's right behind them. But anyway. And then prior to me getting all my chicks, my son used to work at a farm. And his boss gave him three chickens. Uh, which they thought were hens. I think one is now a rooster. Uh, but he... He was into, um, he had about 30 or 40 hens and a bunch of chicks laying around, but he had 200 plus roosters. I think you know where I'm going with that. Uh, the neighbor's dog got one of those chickens, and so there's 20. And then a friend of mine, um, they had to move and they had two hens, um, and they couldn't take with them. So they gave me their two hens, so now, I'm up to 23 or 22 
And then last week, I would seen a post on Facebook. Somebody shared it with me because they uh, think it's funny about my newfound chicken addiction. And uh, it was a post for a, a lavender Orpington rooster. Uh, the lady only wanted 10 bucks for him because she had brothers and they fought a lot. And I said, I might be interested. She said, five bucks. So I decided to go get him. Uh, I figure if he's too much of a problem, uh, we could eat him instead of uh, raising him. But he seems to be okay. Uh, I got him in with the two full-grown hens that are currently laying. One's an Americana. I'm not sure what the other one is. And so now, here I am. I have um, 23 chickens and two ducks. And then a couple weeks ago, I decided that I wanted to try meat chickens. Anyway, so last week I ordered 25 meat chickens and I've been building uh, John Suskovich's chicken tractor. I bought his book. I've been doing a lot of research. I only have about uh, a third of an acre here. Uh, I'm right outside the city limits where I live, so I can have chickens. Um, I have about a third of an acre. Most of that is back here where the chickens already are. I've got three coops set up, this static coop for my 2018 um, little babies or miniatures or toddlers, I guess you want to call them. I have my two big hens and roosters right over here uh, in like a tractor supply coop that my friend gave me with some poultry netting. I let them probably free range, but like I said, my neighbor's dog uh, killed one chicken already. And then the two my son brought home, they're more aggressive breeds. And if I let them free range, which I'm okay with, um, they tend to get into this coop. Um, even though I've clipped their wings, they still find a way to jump on things and get over the six foot fence and then they harass these little girls all the time. Um, and they won't leave them alone. So, come here. Uh, I'm gonna try to grab one. Uh, without looking like a fool and chasing it around. But I just wanted to share with you why I started this channel. Um, and so I'm gonna call it Chicken Steady, uh, or Chick Steady, one of the two. Um, because again, I don't want to do full-blown homesteading, but I am thinking about, um, uh, obviously with so many chicks now, uh, selling eggs and maybe selling meat birds. I feed my girls all non-GMO, soy-free, organic feed. Um, and so far, I think I want more. If I had some land, I would probably start uh, doing what John Siskovich does and uh, do about a thousand birds a year because I like it that much. Uh, by trade, I'm a, uh, a pastor. I know I don't look like one, associate pastor, um, but that's a part-time thing, and uh, I really find a lot of enjoyment messing with birds uh, for some reason. I like my chickens. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to give you a little heads up of, of why I started this channel and uh, what you can expect. Here she is. Here's one of my Rhode Island Reds. And then uh, she's probably one of the friendliest birds I have, actually, except for I have a, a barred rocket, pretty nice. She so there's the little babies. There's the little babies eating um, dandelion leaves. They love it. The ducks love it too. You can make fun of my coop, I don't care. It was an old shed that I converted. I talk about that in another video. But uh, I'm gonna show you my other hens. We'll leave them be. The dark ones, Henrietta. Uh, and then Thanos is the Americana. And then I haven't named the rooster yet. Maybe Rocky because he thinks he's a tough guy. Henrietta! Henrietta! I can probably try to get her to run towards me. She's really friendly. Um, if I have a bow in my hand, she'll come running at me because she thinks I have food. It's pretty funny. Um, when I did let her free range around the yard, um, she would always come running if I came outside with a bow in my hand. 
uh, like a little dog. But there's the, the tractor supply coop for those three. I think I'm just going to set that down and see what happens. Henrietta! Henrietta! Thanos! Rocky, come here! Come on! Come on! Come on, girl! She gonna prove me wrong. Come on, Henrietta! He's gonna come over here. He gets a little cocky once in a while. You gonna get that bug? He's got big old spurs on him, too. He's just doing what he thinks he needs to. Check and see if we got any eggs. <coughs> we got one from my girl Thanos. Anyway, that's these three, and I have them in, I don't know, probably about a 800 square foot area. Um, I got an 84 foot fence around them, so they got plenty of room to roam. I wish I could let them free range. Henrietta and Thanos stay pretty close, but like I said, with uh, that neighbor's dog, um, it's kind of old. Always having to worry about them. So, anyway, I hope you enjoy the channel. And, uh, we'll close out with this. Forgot to mention, my free meal maker was a blue Orpington. You see it right there, the gray one. Um, I'm hoping it's a she. By the looks of it, it is. 
and that's why I got the lavender Orpington rooster. Um, and then the light, uh, more white barred one, that's I believe my Dominique rooster. 